inadhuru yule ambaye anakunywa. Kwa hivyo mtu wa kwanza ambaye anatekana ajibidishe ni yeye yule mlevi ambaye hawezi kukaa bila kunywa. If one will put into context the words of Embu County Commissioner Abdullahi Galgalo, then he will see the seriousness the effect of illicit brewing does to a society. A quick flashback. Seven years ago, Embu County hits the headlines for the wrong reasons, with more than 40 people in Embu County losing their lives to illicit liquor in less than a week. Across the country, more than 100 others died in the same period. Those who survived have a story to tell. We visited three different homesteads in Embu County. All share a common story. Being blind by the help of a walking stick that helps him maneuver in Shauri Yako slums at the heart of Embu County, we meet Peter Monene looking after his one goat and sheep. This is currently the only thing that keeps him occupied. Monene lost his eyes to a 40 shilling drink during the fateful morning. He visited his usual den and took two glasses of the then famously known Gadafuria. Little did he know that the brewer had adulterated the liquor. Presuming that he would consume his starter pack and head to his normal beba beba job in Embu town, Munene will later find himself at the Embu level 5 hospital receiving medication after developing complications. Shockingly, he was not alone on the hospital beds just as he was not alone in the liquor den. Munene witnessed the passing on of his drink mates one after the other. Red Cross ndi wale kuja wakanza kutubeba wakia matawa masapitifu wapa watuende hospitali kuanda kurazwa. Surviving the ordeal and losing his eyesight was not the only blow for the then young family man but also he lost his wife to the same cast illicit liquor later. Juu mini yafektiwa macho na ya kuafektiwa. Kwa hivyo sabi yoni atuwa cha endele na ukunywa pombe tusa manake ndi alienda akata ukunywa. Ukunywa tayari kufa. For Juliet Morugi though she has been living with wounds of losing close friends to the deadly Gadafria. Why not for an early client who visited her in the morning, 20 shillings would have cost her dear life. She was headed to the deadly liquor when the client distracted her. <laughs> The mother of one who is now a reformed alcohol addict has never tasted nor wished to smell any scent of liquor since then. She's internally thankful to the matatu conductor who saved her dear life. <laughs> It is a different tale for Nancy Wanjiko. The pig farmer has never been alcoholic, but the killer drink costed her heavily. While in her usual duties, she received a distressing call that her husband is unwell. Hurriedly, she rushed home and took him to the hospital. She had left her husband drunk at home, nothing unusual at the time. <laughs> The mother of seven whose husband died in her arms at the hospital bed left her with a huge burden of single-handedly raising their children. She admits life would have been better off if the husband was still alive, why not for the killer drink? The liquor left many people in Embu with permanent psychological wounds and bitter memories. For these three, they have one message to the lovers of the bottle.
wasome na mimi. Ile Mungu naweza kumwambia watoto wangu tu Mungu awashindie wasirudi. Wasi wasi hiyo maisha nilikuwa nayo. Samani Mungu awashindie watoto wangu. The seven year ago incident where by licit brew claimed a lot of lives here in Embu County it was a new beginning to the survivors of the ordeal. For TV47 in Shauri at the heart of Embu Town, I'm Mwege William.